Late Nights on Coast TV. The Today Show, weekdays at 7 on Coast TV. Friday, Delmarva. Not just any Friday, it's payday for a lot of us. Ooh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> we're your hosts today. We got Lauren Hitch. Thank you for filling in all week for yes, Paige Marley. Thank you. It's been great being here. I know. And uh, I'm Leah Rizzo, and we've got one more day hanging one out day. with Lauren. Yes. And then Paige will be back next week. But we've had so much fun hanging out with you. And I know you brought your son. We're going to check in with oh him a little bit gosh. later on in the show. Let's, let's hope he doesn't make any peeps during the, <laughs> <laughs> the beginning of the show here. But he's being yes. good. He's being good. He was super excited during the drive. He was like excited to talk to you. Yeah. And meet Leah. Oh, so he's well. hyped. Keep watching because <laughs> it's going to get interesting. It is, but uh, what he's going to help us out with is some back to school tips and tricks, which I think is really awesome because, you know, Monday's the day for a lot of those kids out there. Oh my gosh, Sunday. got here so quickly. But Riker's excited to go back to school. A lot of kids Good. are. So we've got some practical things, like little tips that you can practice this weekend before they yeah. head back to school to make sure they're ready to go. Awesome. Well, and Riker's going into kindergarten, so yes. uh, it's a little bit different. Maybe if your kid is going into high school per mm -hmm. se, it's probably a much different morning routine yeah. than it is. <laughs> with the little little guys probably it's a little, little harder like, to get, get up, up. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dad used to make me have an alarm clock across my bedroom smart so that I could turn I, you I have just to get out the wine. yeah so he'd make me like get up and go get it that's what I should do honestly as yeah. an adult because <laughs> snooze has ruined my life yeah snooze has it's ruined so my morning routine on the phone snooze, yes snooze, yeah it's way too easy and I keep my alarm on silent so it just buzzes and so, because I'm like, oh, I don't want to wake up my, my boyfriend because uh, right. I get a much earlier start. Mm -hmm. So I'm like trying to be nice about it. But I'm like, if it's not making any sound, it's a lot easier to just keep hitting snooze. Because yeah. I'm like, if it's making sound, well, then I have to turn it off and get out of bed because right. I don't want to be rude. Yep. But That's why I kind of like the watch because if my phone's oh, going off, at least it'll vibrate. I'm like, oh, okay. Time yeah. To get out. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking about going old school. Just a regular old loud alarm That's clock that gets you up in the morning. The one with the red time on <laughs> yeah. it across the way. And yep. I had to go hit it. And at that point, I better get up and go get ready for school. Yeah. <laughs> My brother used to be able to, like, he would get up slowly, take a shower, go back to bed, and then we'd be like, why, why where's Rob? Oh, yeah. wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I know that those teenage years can be a little bit different, but we're also kind of talking about teenagers because you may notice that your teenager is a little less eager to drive these days than maybe you were when you were 16. They say that Gen Z is a lot more hesitant. I feel like looking back, there were maybe, there was a kid in my class and a kid the year below me, I remember, that like never took the driver's test. They did not oh, want to know how to take drive. It. Mm -hmm. oh, they had no interest in wanting to be behind the wheel. No interest in wanting mm -hmm. to get behind the wheel. Like I think they were scared maybe? They were scared. I mean, I know my one friend, she definitely had some anxiety and like mm -hmm. anxiousness about driving. I think, I think she did learn. She took the driver's test and then I don't remember if just driving the first time alone, she hated it so yeah. much. She was like, nope, nope, not, not doing me. it again. Okay. Yeah, well, and it's funny because now she lives in New York, so like, she oh, doesn't have to drive. She doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. was she was like, preparing. <laughs> she was. But it's so funny that I think sometimes in like those big cities, a lot of nervous, mm -hmm. like anxious people anxiety prone people I find tend to really thrive in cities I think yeah. there's always just something going on there's always a buzz right you don't have to feel so like independent mm -hmm. and on your own true. there's a lot of options <laughs> very true I, when I was 16 I couldn't wait to drive <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't wait to get out of the house. <laughs> I couldn't wait to drive until we were always asked to back the car out because my family lived oh. with a single file driveway. Like we just, it was a one car driveway. And so everybody parked in a line. So if mm -hmm. we parked in the wrong order to get the day started oh. the next day, it was like, all right, we got to move the cars. Uh. And so my mom, my dad, my brother, myself, we'd all have to hop in uh -huh. and move a car around. And he'd be like, this stinks. Yeah, oh my, my parents didn't trust me at 16 with mm -hmm. that. They had me a separate spot way away from the house and all their vehicles and We all <laughs> took our turns running into each other at least once where like either you left them in the morning like in a huff mm. you were angry or you left just like not even it was too early too I did early, one yeah. of those when I used to it wasn't until college I think when I started working mornings that I did one of those like I got in and I backed out <gasps> didn't even look and just heard thunk <laughs> and you're like whoops yeah got my brother's car but oh. it was fine we weren't going any kind of speed, so right. it was okay. I just wonder if, like, is it because they're they're scared? They're just, you know, I, I mean, I always wonder kind of what it, it is. It seems like it's a combination of factors. I think there is a little bit of the anxiety, mm -hmm. but I actually think more than anything else, it's the cost. It's the cost of owning a car, the cost of gas, I insurance, think the cost of car maintenance, yeah. insurance. Yeah. All of that, that stuff is a big deterrent for teens these days because, you know, maybe the deal you struck with your parents is you can have a car, but you got to pay for it. Or you got to fill the tank. Or you gotta, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. And you're like, actually, I can't afford that deal, <laughs> yes. so it's an 
no go. I get it. So they just ride along with mom and dad. I get it too. I, I get enjoyed too. the freedom. Yeah, I did too. My, my, I think I had a curfew until I was like 21 anyway. So, but you know, just being out to like take yeah. the car out. The independence was really independence nice. Independence was nice, and that's what I like. All liked. my friends rode around field hockey practice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So times. my my best friend, she was like first in line to drive because she was a September birthday, and she was like the year before. Uh -huh most of the kids in my class. So like by the time she took her driver's ed over the summer, so by the time oh. the school year rolled around, my friend Hop, Cindy was in. driving us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and she always, because like we lived very close to one another, so she always picked me up. So I was like, I get to be the passenger princess. Oh, yes. I was the passenger princess all through high school. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I would open the center if we blare the music mm -hmm. in the parking lot before school started, you know, yeah. good times. But I think I even had a little anxiety when it became more than, you know, 13. Oh right? yeah. yeah. When yeah. I started going up to Philly and there's you know way more than two lanes. Like that that gave me a little anxiety. Yeah. Now I feel like I'm a pro at it. Yeah, it was I've done nice. it so many times I'm in my thirties now. But like, you know, back was, then I yeah. think I would have been a little nervous. Oh for sure. I mean anytime you get you try something new and I mean a, a car is a dangerous thing to it drive, is. especially these days. People are driving fast, people are driving distracted. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say a lot of times my dad used to say, You have to watch out for other people. Mm -hmm. That's you know, you can find your safe zone and like know your way here, but Watch That's out for my dad everyone would say else. Too. Yeah. Yep, yep. He was like, you can't, you don't know what somebody else is going to do. You know, just because you stop doesn't mean the person in front mm -hmm. of you is going to hit the brakes fast. Yeah. Um, but I grew up close enough to I-95 that like that was part of the driver's ed test. Like you, you had to hop yeah. on the highway like and then that. you had to get off. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, technically, I feel like I parallel parked, but I don't know that I actually parallel parked because I still like, if I can't nail it in the first two oh. moves, we're finding a new spot. Yeah. <laughs> See me, I parallel parked better than I front end parked. There you go. And I was like, why? This would be me, you know? Right. Like, <laughs> but don't ask me to do it now. I don't know why I was so good at it at 16. Now right. I'm like, mm. I feel like too many people are watching. Yeah, I feel when like When you did it in driver's ed, like, eh, no one was there. Right. <laughs> exactly. They picked a spot on purpose yes. that the cars are really far, far apart. And they're like, yeah, that's parallel parking enough. And now you do it in the city and you're like, mm, nope. Can't Find have me an a parking audience. garage. <laughs> yep. In college, there was one spot that was always like outside the big frat house. And I was like, no, no. we're not parking there today. <laughs> Everyone's watching. No, no audience, watching. please. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, so if you got a, a 16 year old, I mean, I don't know. Uh, it's it's hard to say if it is if it's the nerves, mm -hmm. if it's the cost. I mean, hey, maybe you can work out some other kind of deal. Yeah, yeah throw some more chores in the mix. Yes. Throw some more something in there to kind of encourage your kid to take on a little bit of independence. It's <laughs> yeah. nice, and then the siblings can help drive the other siblings. Yes. Oh yeah, I drove my brother to school in uh, high school. Yep, you know? I drove my sister to friends' houses and all that stuff. That's probably yeah. why they helped me pay for my car a little bit more. They were like, no, mm -hmm. she can take the kid. she can take her brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the car is a little bit of freedom. We like it that. Is. Uh, something else too, maybe you're getting back into the world of dating or uh, you've been in the world of dating when it comes to online dating. Did you ever have to do any? Uh, no. No. And I'm so glad I didn't. Like mm -hmm. sometimes I hear about things now with it and I'm like, ah, like it kind of makes me nervous. Oh, okay. I'm I found the one and I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I was a little bit on like Tinder and Hinge okay. for a little while in mm -hmm. my in my early twenties. A lot 20s. of my friends are. Yeah, no, it's not a bad thing. I yeah. feel like I feel like we're, we've moved away yeah. from that kind of connotation. Oh, yeah. I think it's just a little, it's different and mm -hmm. it does feel like speed dating, but without even right. actually getting yeah. to know somebody. My best friend met her husband. Mm -hmm. on one of my very good so, friends yes. met her. We call it a Tinderella. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> it was like the message. Um, it was funny, like the message they ended up putting up on their wedding, like met on Tinder, you know, Ooh. and then like the message that they sent, it was like or the guest book and stuff. It, it was Aww, so cute. Aw, <laughs> cute. Um, but they do say if you are looking for love, maybe try to be really positive in your online profile because if you're too negative, mm. Oh. People aren't into that, which I understand. You don't want somebody who's yeah. going to constantly bring you down all the time. I mean, there's there's being mm -hmm. realistic, and there's right. being negative, and they think there is a difference. Ooh, okay. So like, don't don't put too much negative in like the summary, like the about me part. Is that? Yeah, I okay. think if you lead with all the things you don't like, that's going to be a lot Ooh. less appealing than leading with the things that you do like. I get that. Yes. Yeah. So you know what dates to avoid, I suppose, but you don't even know what dates to start with because you're like, so what do you like? Yeah, maybe the things you don't like should come up like in second or third date. Second or third date, yeah. start the conversation first and right. then you can talk about things you don't like. <laughs> yes. But yeah, just a little helpful tip for you mm -hmm. if you are uh, back in the dating pool or you haven't actually quite gotten out of the dating pool, maybe, maybe that's one of your struggles. Maybe you've been too negative in your profile. Positivity goes a long way, being optimistic, yeah. Especially these days where we had a few good years of yeah. just constant <laughs> negative feedback. Yes, <laughs> it's Friday, let's be positive about it. Let's do it. Uh, speaking of being positive, maybe you're headed to Jeep Fest in Ocean City. That's where our field correspondent Spencer Tover is and he's going to tell us what's coming up on the show. Spence, what's going on? Leah, Hitch, I traded a duck for a ride with these lovely ladies today and later on the show we're going to be celebrating everything Jeep here at the beach. We've got Lauren here with some back to school tips and we've got some trendy tries that might be your next obsession. So all that's coming up here on Coast Life. Stick around. Coast Life is sponsored by BB Healthcare.
Coastal Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, Preston Automotive Group, Shell Brothers, and the Parker Group. Shell's Early Learning Center, child and parent approved. Shell's have become an extension of our family. They've helped prepare our children for school. I love Shell's. My teacher makes learning fun. Creating a fun learning environment to prepare the children for school. Shell's accredited staff is dedicated to preparing your child for school. Don't miss your chance to join the Shell's family. Enroll your child for fall now before it's too late. Shell's Early Learning Center, preparing our future generation. When you're obese, you know, right? And you know the world sees you as this, but when you hear that, hey, you need to lose weight, you're like, but how? You feel trapped. Uh, it's intimidating, and it's a really hard decision for the patient to make to proceed with weight loss surgery. Most people don't have enough information about the safety and the effectiveness of weight loss surgery. I know that I can reach out to any person here at BB, and I can get the support that I need. How do you tell the difference between a good roof installation and a bad roof installation? The difference is Spicer Brothers. It's all about the workmanship, the quality of the materials, and a lifetime warranty that gives you peace of mind. We ensure your family is protected from the elements, season after season. Our comprehensive roof assessment and 13-point checklist ensures every detail is covered. And right now, we're offering 50% off materials, plus get your new roof for as low as $99 a month. Spicer Brothers, because you deserve the best. We've searched, and we don't think you'll find a better Labor Day sale anywhere. Shop Gone Coastal. It's my style and furniture in more locations for the biggest deals anywhere. Like our three-piece sectional, $9.99. Our seven-piece dining set, $9.99. Sofa sleepers from $5.99. Outdoor Adirondack chairs, only $1.79. Save even more under the tent. Up to 60% off at our Fenwick and Rehoboth locations. The best Labor Day sales at Gone Coastal. It's my style and furniture and more. Well, Delmarva, we know Monday is a big day for a lot of you. Everybody's packing up and going back to school. And we've got one young student sitting on the Coast Life <laughs> couch and uh, joining Lauren Hitch, who's been joining us this week, is her son, Riker. Riker, yeah. Monday's your big day of school. Yeah? What is, grade are you going in? Um, kindergarten. Kindergarten. Wow. Are you excited? Yeah? You're going to make some new friends, see some old friends. Yeah. Yeah, all kinds of good stuff. And I see <laughs> that you are well prepared for the school year. And uh, a lot of that is thanks to your mom. So Lauren, for all the other parents out there that are getting ready to send their kids back to school, you got some tips and tricks of the trade. Yes, and it's really because my mom is on her 24th year of teaching this year. Wow. So she's been on this a long time. A lot of my friends teach elementary school. So they've always instilled in me, like, make sure your kid is ready for school. So I yeah. kind of like to pass the word on to other people who have their kids going to elementary school, especially. Sure this time of year. It's a big adjustment. Big adjustment and some things that they would like need to learn how to do and need to learn how to already have done before school starts is like things like opening a packed lunch box, holding a crown, yeah. zipping up their jackets, tying their shoes or having shoes that are easier to put on. So we're going to go through some of those today. Just making the teacher's life a little easier. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Making teacher's life a little yes. easier. Making mom's life a yes, little bit easier. Because exactly. if your kid can kind of help pack stuff and yeah. get their shoes on. You can get out the door just a little, a little bit earlier. <laughs> okay. Certain things like holding a crown. So Riker, can you show how to hold a crown? Ah, right. yeah, we color okay, a lot you in the got summer, it. Right? I like to color too. It's kind of like I a little, love coloring. <laughs> so yes, do a little extra, so that's fun. Coloring's good. Now show them how you can open the lunch box. So a lot of times in the cafeteria, there's not a lot of teachers or people yeah. to help kids open their lunch boxes. So it's really important that kiddos know how to open it by themselves. And good my, job. My kid is a picky eater, so we actually bought a thermos lunch box this year. So ah. Riker, can you show how to open that? So it's a little okay, tougher to yeah. open. Yeah, the thermos could be a little tricky. And there's chicken nuggets inside because that's Ooh. all we eat right now lately. I mean, I hear you, buddy. <laughs> I, like I said, I was this close to buying chicken nuggets today. So, <laughs> so these there are, we go. You know, oh, the, yeah. there you go. With the thermoses, you yeah, just put some boiling water in there. He's got some chicken nuggets, so he's ready to go. There you go. And a lot of times, you know, parents will send these 
Yeah. Orange cups. Yeah, well, the little fruit cups. It splatters everywhere. Sure does. <laughs> and you know what? That doesn't change uh, post-kindergarten. <laughs> no. So I always try to put it in an easier container for him to open. Yeah. <laughs> All right, gonna, we're digging in. We're yeah. Uh, so other, other things like easy snack boxes, you know, to be able to open and pack in your kiddos' lunches. Just things that make it more simple. That makes a lot of cafeteria. sense. Yeah, you don't, you don't really remember back to when you weren't as dexterous no. as you are as an adult. <laughs> right. And other things, too, like making sure they can take their shoes on and off or yeah. put their shoes. Can you show them how you Velcro your shoes? Let me hold this. Okay. Show them. Here, you got to show them up on the camera. Good there job. you go. Easy as that. So things like Velcros or zippers or even the Crocs that you can put in four-wheel drive if you need to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speed mode. But those, <laughs> those things would be easier for the kiddos to do without the teacher having to help. Same yeah. with zipper, zippering up their jackets. I remember my mom, I used to go in her classroom, and the kids would all need help zipping their jackets yep. and tying their shoes. So making it a little easier for them. Knowing how to do that yeah. ahead of time is good. And with like the school uniform pants, like Riker has to wear, having things like an easy clasp or elastic waistband yeah. is much easier for them to use the bathroom on their own. Yeah, than the zippers and the buttons. Yes, and the, I remember the, like, tough. the the very first time your head gets stuck in a t-shirt when you were a kid yes. and you're like, it's over, <laughs> I'm never gonna escape. Like, I, right. I, that's so smart. And just, yeah, I think like you said, makes life a little easier yeah. on mom, on the teacher, and on your kids too, because they can feel uh, a little exactly. bit more independent. <laughs> yeah. And have them be able to dress themselves in the morning, you know, let them to know that they can do it. So they can do it while they're at school too. Yeah, there oh, you go. Yeah. And I see that you're, uh, you're. I hear that you're well equipped <gasps> with plenty of Ninja Turtles gear to go back to school. Is that right? Do you have Ninja Turtle school yeah. stuff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> I wish I had Ninja Turtle back to school stuff. <laughs> All right, well, this is sort of to keep your kid happy in the classroom and get them out the door in right. the morning. But Lauren's got some more tricks for you as well. Uh, you're going to help us keep kids fed through yes. the day. <laughs> kids are hungry when they come in from school, especially Riker. He's about to do a full day of kindergarten. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I got a little snack hack for you. All right, we got that snack <laughs> hack when we get back. Listen out there in television land. Get in the groove with Judge Judy's greatest hits. I'm good, right? You are great. Judge to be the best. Now put on your listening ears. With classics like... That's ridiculous. That's a lot of baloney. Plus... What are you, nuts? And who could forget... Um, um, it's not an answer. Judge Judy, delivering the hits daily. That sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Judge Judy, coming September 9th to Coast TV. Muscle pain slowing you down? Invest in your health and wellness with Hot Spring Spots at Delaware Hot Tub Company in Millsboro and Lewis. Made with top of the line technologies for a remarkable hydrotherapy experience, clean and easy. Five times the filtration and self monitoring that tells you what it needs to maintain natural feeling water. With personalized control and multi level seating to target muscle groups and provide comfort. At Delaware Hot Tub Company, we believe your hot tub should take care of you, not the other way around. Visit Delaware Hot Tub Company in Millsboro and Lewis. We know you have better things to do with your time than cleaning. At Heather's Homeworks, we invest in giving you back your time, taking the stress off of your shoulders. For over 20 years, we provided excellent housekeeping services throughout Sussex County. Our team of professionally trained cleaners use non-toxic, all-purpose cleaning solutions to protect your pets, loved ones, and all surfaces in your home to ensure you're cared for and have peace of mind. Visit heathershomeworks.com or call today. We, we can, can do it! it. Here at the Delmarva Design Center, appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring come together in one showroom. We have specialists in each division, such as myself and countertops, to not only ensure you get the best product to fit your needs, but that your selection fits seamlessly with every element of your project. When I came into the Delmarva Design Center and see that big collection of slabs, that makes really the decision seamless. Delmarva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware.
Spark your senses at the Spice and Tea Exchange in Rehoboth Beach. Food lovers, home chefs, and tea enthusiasts rejoice. Smell and sample your way through hundreds of exotic spices and teas from around the world. Our signature blends and rubs are hand-mixed daily to ensure the highest quality and freshness. Talk to our tea experts and learn the wellness benefits of drinking fresh, loose-leaf premium teas. Find a tasteful gift for that special someone or join us for an in-store cooking demo. Find your way to flavor at the Spice and Tea Exchange on the Avenue in Rehoboth Beach. Sister locations in Annapolis, Maryland and Old Town, Alexandria, Virginia. Well, we know we're still getting ready to head back to school. We had Lauren Hitch just tell us all about some little hacks and things to make sure your kid can operate a little bit more independently in the classroom. Maybe not need the teacher so much when it comes to, you know, opening lunch boxes, putting clothes on, tying shoes. Uh, but now Lauren's back with some snack hacks and Riker is back to Yay! test them out. Welcome back. <laughs> we need a taste tester, right, for all the snacks? Well, we do. You know, Riker's our, he's our man that shows us how all of this works and that, you know, all the advice you're giving everybody is good. Yes. <laughs> so a lot of kiddos after school, Riker's going to full day this year, yes. so not not half day pre-K. It's a big he, change. Great, great years of that, but it was half day for where he went to school. Yeah. So now it's full day. So when he, you know, is done school, he's going to be starving. Sure, I bet you are. <laughs> Which most kids are in any grade, I I'm think. I'm hungry when I get home yeah. from work, too. <laughs> All right, turn. Look this way. We're gonna. We, we made a little kiddo charcuterie board. I love that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I feel like that's such a, a clever idea, and this is a, a really nice mix too of sort of sweet and savory. But a lot of this is all healthy food too. That's right. gonna keep your kid yes. full until dinner. Yes. So, so we're right, talk her, about some of the stuff we have on here. What do we have on our charcuterie what's here, our, bud? What's on our tray? Cucumbers. What's the cucumbers? Good. Strawberries. Strawberries. These are some Scooby Scooby snacks. Snacks. Scooby snacks. Got to have those. Uh, Sandwiches. 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 Grapes. Grapes. Ch Ch chocolate pretzels. Chocolate, <laughs> chocolate pretzels. Chocolate pretzels. Chocolate pretzels. Apples. Apples. Good job. Yeah. Right, why don't you and dig in? Butter. And peanut butter. Man, your mom hooks you up with a tasty <laughs> snack board here, my <laughs> right, dude. Why don't, why don't you dig in a little bit? Dig so the in. reason Riker has a lot of these trays is because he doesn't like his food to touch because he is a picky eater. Okay. So I've also learned when we do a snack time, which we did, uh huh, which we did a lot this summer, we kind of just put different things on the board, yeah. things that you know that they like, and then maybe try to throw a few new things in there. Okay. Because they're more prone to kind of. As they're picking up things that they know they like, they're more prone to grab it and maybe taste test it. Try something try a little something new, new, and then if they don't like it, they can stick right. with familiar. Or you can bribe them a little bit. You can be like, oh, if you try this new one, then look at this Oreo cookie over here. Like you know what I mean? So clever. That's kind of what we've been doing this summer. They have these, you know, online and stuff too. You can just cut out the sandwiches, make Cute. them look like the Uncrustables yeah. and things like that. Packing lunch, but even making these little snack boards up. Riker really likes these, so he kind of picks things that would go on them too. So. Yeah, it makes, it, makes it good. It makes it last until dinner. <laughs> it does, and I, and I mean, I think that is a, a fun way that you guys can work together to kind of mm -hmm. come up with a snack board. It gets him familiar with the snacks in the house, exactly. what he likes, what he doesn't like, mm -hmm. and like you said, keeps him fed until dinner. Yeah, and a lot of times you kind of learn too. Oh, okay, he did like that. I can pack it in his lunchbox. Yeah, because you never know what, if they're going to eat lunch at school or not. So true. So having it pack it like, okay, he did eat it on the snack board. Yeah, let's send it to school with him for for lunch. So. <laughs> Very true. Now, so for, um, you know, maybe some of the, the I, I think a lot of moms out there tend to feel a little guilty when it comes to snacking because, you know, maybe your kids don't love all the healthier snacks out there. Yeah. So you work in some of the, you know, junk food stuff. You do. Riker doesn't, Riker will eat any fruit, but vegetables, no. Not so much. <laughs> Not yeah. so much. So I have put some cucumbers on here with ranch. He does like like pizza with ranch because he's my child. Yeah, man. But, <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of throw that in there a little bit. Or like, I know he likes, um, whole, like, he likes chicken nuggets with honey. Ooh, so sometimes okay. I'll put honey on the board with the apples or like a different yeah. fruit or even crackers, just letting him dip it in a little honey. So <laughs> I try to, <laughs> I try to tie things that he, he likes that I know he likes that's in here because really it's really okay. These are not too bad of snacky food. Yeah. Some graham crackers water. and things like that. You want some water? We'll get you some. <laughs> he's got <laughs> and he's off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so these are great little little snack ideas. I mean, these little guys have hidden veggies in them. Yeah. And sometimes even with his packed lunch, we'll try to sneak something in his quesadillas and things like that. There and you his go. Cheese sandwiches. Make so it sneaky. And mom then hacks. Yeah. That, you know, make it good for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think Riker is, uh, he's, he's getting ready. He's ready for school on Monday, and hopefully you're feeling a little bit more prepared. You got a few hacks and tips and tricks to try out Monday morning, and uh, hopefully by Monday afternoon, everybody's still all in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> good luck to all the mamas. Yes, so much luck for you for Monday morning. But coming up on Coast Life, you know, the Art League uh, had their big plein air event. We're going to speak to one of the artists on the way. 
There are many details that shouldn't be overlooked when buying or selling your coins. Mint mark, date, and condition are all factors in determining a coin's value. Don't get ripped off. Find someone reputable who can answer your questions and pay you top dollar on the spot. Look to see if they broadcast current values live and if they use Graysheet for determining your coin's value. To learn more about Robinson's family of businesses, the coin and jewelry experts, visit Delmarva Experts on WBOC.com. Shell's Early Learning Center, child and parent approved. Shell's have become an extension of our family. They've helped prepare our children for school. I love Shell's. My teacher made learning fun. Creating a fun learning environment to prepare the children for school. Shell's accredited staff is dedicated to preparing your child for school. Don't miss your chance to join the Shell's family. Enroll your child for fall now before it's too late. Shell's Early Learning Center, preparing our future generation. Everyone knows kids are messy, especially in the summertime. <laughs> Back to school. Your home isn't clean until it's Stanley Steamer clean. Unwind, work off stress, and be comfortably true to who you are with Jab and Flow. We're dedicated to creating a balance of physical and mental wellness for your best life. You don't have to get in a ring, be a hardcore yogi, or train like a pro athlete to become part of our community. We teach boxing fundamentals with a fun variety of yoga, Pilates, and fitness classes for drop-ins and members of all levels. On Route 1 between Rehoboth and Dewey with plenty of free parking. Most patients would like to avoid eye drops, but for glaucoma patients, those drops can be the difference between normal vision and significant vision loss. At Chesapeake Eye Center, we strive to protect our patients' vision, even if it requires daily eye drops. Thankfully, there's another alternative, an advanced laser called SLT. This painless laser can be performed in the office in minutes and decrease pressure for years. Many of our patients have had this laser and no longer use drops. For more information about Chesapeake Eye, click Delmarva Experts. This segment of Coast Life is sponsored by the Art League of Ocean City. Coast Life, just a few weeks ago, if you were hanging out in Ocean City, you may have seen quite a few artists busying away at their plein air works, which is basically when you just sit and you paint outside. And we have one of those artists who did some winning with their plein air <laughs> event. We've got John Brandish sitting with us. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks, thanks ladies. I appreciate being here. Yeah, yeah, we're excited to talk to you because you were part of the plein air event. How many paintings did you paint during this event? So I got to paint four. Four, okay. Four paintings. There were 50 artists that were there. Uh, and the wet paint sale that happened the Saturday after yeah. the show, there were so many paintings, it was awesome. I bet. Do you still have any paintings that are available? There's, there are uh, one painting is available currently at the Art League of Ocean City, uh, and the other two uh, are actually in a gallery back in Philadelphia. Oh, wow. nice. Very nice. And uh, your Nocturne painting won the Yeah, something. I was Didn't very, it? very lucky to win, uh, to win an award. It's very humbling. Uh, I won Best Nocturne uh, for a scene, and uh, it's currently on view uh, at the Art League of Ocean City. Talk about, talk about that painting a little bit. What was it like? Yes. Uh, it's a fun anecdotal story. <laughs> um, I got an email uh, uh, that was sent to the group of us artists saying, hey, don't forget to paint the nighttime scene. There's, there's different awards that you can win. And um, so I texted my wife saying, well, I'm, I'm going to go paint tonight. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I went down and, and I have to tell you, I thought it was probably the, the worst of the group of paintings that oh, I did no. and it won. Yeah, so what does that yeah, say? There you go. It means you never know what, what, no. what you work on that's really going to speak to people because yeah. I think, you know, we, we, interpreting art is up to the viewer and, and whatever they get out of it, it you, can, you can't predict whether you're the artist or another viewer. No two people are going to view art the same way, right. which I think is, you know, the beauty of it. Um, so when you were painting plein air, you know, you're out in the elements. You got heat, you got mm. 
bugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was it like <laughs> painting for four days? Well, there's this great invention called bug spray. Yeah. And it is a lifesaver <laughs> when you're out there. Uh, it's a lot of fun. There's definitely a lot of challenges. Uh, plan air painting by design. Uh, when the light changes, you mm -hmm. kind of have to stop. You got to go and do another oh. one. So you have to be quick. And for those of us painters who are not quick, it's definitely a challenge. Sure. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, I think one of the uh, things that you sometimes don't think about, especially when you're painting at night, even in the middle of August, it can get chilly when you're on the beach. Mm -hmm. So I walked, uh, I walked over with a sweatshirt in my backpack and, and uh, that sweatshirt got put on pretty quick. <laughs> I bet it did, I bet it did. So what is your preferred medium when you're plein air painting? So uh, my preferred painting is uh, oil painting. I have huh. tried some of the other works and I'm pretty terrible at watercolor <laughs> and gouache and Isn't acrylic. Isn't it funny so, how that works though? Yeah. They're not the same. <laughs> no, it's, it's certainly not. And I have some painter friends who will laugh at me and say, but oil so hard. And I look and say, no, you're, no, you're, no it's <laughs> awesome. So much easier, so forgiving. No, see, I'm <laughs> in the opposite boat. I'm an acrylics painter and I'm like, I can't, I can't make oils work. <laughs> but uh, I can see how maybe if you're not as fast a painter, oils are a little bit mm -hmm. of a slower go than say watercolors. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's harder to work faster. Anybody that can control water, you've, my hat's off to uh, you. Right. How, how long have you been painting? <laughs> so uh, I've been professionally painting now for just on 20 years. Uh, I graduated uh, from Temple University's Tyler School of Art. Nice. Uh, so uh, I'm orig originally from Philadelphia, PA. Hey. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, so I've been painting. I, I've, I've worked in and out of art galleries and museums all throughout the city of Philadelphia and before my wife and I moved here. So I've been painting and wow. I paint, uh, I do a lot of outdoor art shows. I'm up and down everywhere from Florida to Connecticut. Awesome, that's very, very fun. So how <laughs> would you say being a part of the Art League of Ocean City has uh, maybe not necessarily helped you grow as an artist, but feel a part of our very welcoming artist community? Oh, well, it, and uh, it has helped me grow because you, you can't help but uh, take in the works of other artists mm -hmm. um, and to see and to have fun conversations and meet uh, really fun people. Uh, and, and in that way, sometimes it's a passive growth, sure. right? Uh, but there's just so many awesome welcoming people in the Art League of Ocean City, Katie, and everybody there, they're all awesome. They're fantastic people. They take really good care of you. Uh, so if you're thinking about doing the Plan Air <laughs> event next year, uh, you definitely want to sign up for that. Um, it's just, it's a blast. They're such great people there. They, t they really take care of their artists. Yeah, I always love when we sit and chat with, uh, whether it's uh, Rena or anybody at the Art League of Ocean City, I always walk away feeling inspired myself. Aww. So uh, if you are considering joining, maybe consider <laughs> signing up, meet some new friends. Maybe you and John can chat. Yeah. <laughs> always down. Well, John, like you said, some of your works are still available at the Art League. Uh, so uh, for people who are interested, do they just have to head to the Art League and check it out? Yeah, so uh, Art League of Ocean City, uh, the show goes till September 28th. Uh, it's in the upstairs gallery. There's still a lot of really great paintings yeah. that are available there right now. Uh, and you should definitely go down and check it out. It's free entry. All right, well, we'll give you a chance to do that. Go check it out. <laughs> uh, but when we get back, we're gonna be introducing you to uh, a new face that you may be seeing on Coast TV. So that's on the This segment of Coast Life is sponsored by Jab and Flow. Hey guys, how's it going? April Jones here over at Jab and Flow. I just wanted to show you a few strengthening exercises for the calf muscles to help you with better stability and explosive power. So the first exercise I want to show you guys is called an isometric lunge or a split squat hold. So what you're going to do is you're going to get into your split squat, just like this. Keep the core nice and tight, keep the knees nice and stable, keep this back leg nice and straight, heel on the ground. What you're going to do is you're going to raise this heel right up top, right up here, just like this. A progression for this exercise is you can hold a kettlebell, whatever weight you feel is best for you. Hold it nice and stable, keep the core nice and tight. Perform your heel raises. Peninsula Home Care proudly serves the beautiful communities of Delaware, Maryland. With a team of compassionate nurses, therapists, and social work at your service. We are here to help you regain your strength and independence right in the comfort of your home. Our team actively engages in our community, including ongoing education with our partners. From hospital to home, Peninsula Home Care is your hometown home care, right by your side since 1985. Brian, what's the difference between treated wood and composite decking? Treated wood decking costs less, but requires a lot of maintenance over the years. Composite decking looks like wood, but won't fade, curl, or rot. It's insect resistant, maintenance free, and comes with a lifetime warranty. 
but through August 31st only. You can get composite decking for the same price as treated lumber and no payments, no interest for 12 months. Paul Davis can bring the showroom to you as soon as tomorrow. And we'll give you a down to the penny price that day. Call Paul Davis, the restoration and remodeling expert. Every visit is an adventure at Browse About Books in Rehoboth Beach. Search our hand-picked book collection and find something in every genre. From bestsellers to some of our staff picks, you'll uncover a new adventure every time. After you've browsed our extensive book selection, explore our gift shop, where you'll find an exciting array of toys, gifts, Rehoboth-themed items, and home decor. Browse About Books on Rehoboth Avenue, a fun, friendly place to shop for books and so much more. Be a part of art. Come inside the Art League of Ocean City Center for the Arts. Waterfront on 94th Street Bayside. Admission is always free year round. Enjoy diverse galleries featuring original and local artworks for sale. You'll always find something new to see. Take an art class. We have something fun and unexpected for all ages and skills. Check our calendar. It's full of special events. See everything you need to know at ocart.org. In Delaware, a family earning $67,000 a year pays the same tax rate as one making $67 million. I'm Matt Meyer, and you don't have to be a former math teacher to know that's an outrage. As governor, I'll make the super wealthy pay more in taxes so working people can pay less. By making state taxes more fair, we'll help more families get ahead. It's not just smart math. It's the right thing to do. Democrat Matt Meyer for governor. Save thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time sale. Today through Sunday. With Comico Civic Center. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation and one day only. New 2024 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. With Comico Civic Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 855-SPA-SALE. If you've been watching Coast Life for a little while now, you know that we like to introduce you to members of our news team because, you know, Coast TV News at 5 takes over from us when we're done. And uh, we really do share the building, we share the space, and we're just one big happy family. So a new member of that family is sitting on the Coast Life couch today. But if you've been on Delmarva for a while, you may recognize her face. Christina DiRobertis is sitting on the couch <laughs> with me today. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming up. So uh, you, this actually, you're not new to the Draper Media family. That's right. Tell us a little bit about your time at our sister station. Yes, so I spent <laughs> some time working for WBOC about mm -hmm. two years, and I was the Dover reporter. Ah. So I worked yep, up out of the Dover Bureau. It was just me, really, and another camera guy up uh -huh. there. So I'm really happy to be here now with the whole news team here in Milton. Yeah, well, we're happy to have you here on our, our Milton campus, if you will. <laughs> and uh, are you? so you've covered a, a decent amount of the Delaware area, but where are you from originally? I'm from New Jersey. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am a Jersey girl <laughs> All right. at heart. We'll accept it. We'll allow it. <laughs> uh, how long have you been here, though? A little over two years okay. now. Yep. Nice. And nice. I'm still staying up in Dover. I'm hoping to come down toward the beach okay. soon. That's but all right. I do love Delaware. Mm -hmm. I do. I could see myself staying here for long time. Yeah, it's a it's I mean it really is a great place. I think it's it's quiet, so a lot of people don't think about Delaware. It's not top of mind for a lot of folks, but I mean, I I grew up in Delaware. I am a Delaware native through and through, <laughs> and it was a great it was a great childhood and a, a great adulthood thus far. So, have you always been interested in journalism? Is this was this your calling? Did you know this was something you wanted to do? Well, Kind of, mm -hmm. kind okay. of. I think it all started when I was younger, maybe in like fourth grade. Okay. I used to be obsessed with making these like stop motion nice. music videos. Okay. okay, that is time consuming. That is dedication. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing it. There, some of them are still posted on YouTube. Okay, all right. A little embarrassing, but I just love doing it. And I always knew that I wanted a job where I could be creative and, yeah. and write and shoot and edit video. So I never really thought, I want to be a reporter, I want to be sure. on TV, but I kind of just realized that being a journalist checked all those boxes for me. And Absolutely. here I am now. Yeah, well, we're excited to have you. I mean, this is definitely a field where, you know, you got to get your facts right, but the way you tell the story is up to you and that you can be creative. So what sort of stories do you think you like covering more and do you think our viewers will see you covering? 
A little bit of everything, I'm sure. A little bit of everything, <laughs> yeah, whatever's kind of happening. But I, I like covering education stories. Mm -hmm. um, I did a lot of uh, politics yep. up in Dover in the capital. Sure, sure, yep. Tis the place, <laughs> tis the season. <laughs> and I, I do love the you know, feature story every yeah. now and then. Yeah, it everybody likes the heart. feel good, yeah. fuzzy story. Anything that has to do with <laughs> animals, that's what we love. Of course. Um, but I, I love the focus on education. Why has that been something that really has has drawn you in? Well, in, in Delaware, we've seen, you know, some reports lately that education is not doing as well as everyone would like it to be sure, doing. And sure. the test scores are not exactly where we want them to be. So I, I just think it's an important topic and parents, teachers, even students are really invested in it and making it better, so. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, you spend so much of your life learning in school and you never want that learning to stop. And I think, you know, you learn how to learn almost while you're in school. So I think that's a, that's a great focus. Well, we're excited to see you. Uh, and I think we're, we're really excited to watch your career grow from here. So Christina De Robertis, everybody, and you can catch her. Uh, it's gonna be mostly in our afternoons. I think so, yep. All right, but yep. you never know. Everybody gets swapped around a little bit here sometimes. So keep an eye out for Christina, but we're also going to have you keep an eye out for a little more Coast Life that's coming up. Vernon Powell now has Hoka Kids just in time for back to school. Or choose New Balance, Skechers, Backpacks, Drinkware, and more with 20% off every second item during the back to school sale at Vernon Powell in Salisbury and Rehoboth Beach. Coastal Comfort knows there's no place like home. It's where we can be totally comfortable. Totally comfortable being ourselves, making a mess, making improvements, making strides, making memories with those we love, totally. Big or small, at the beach or on the farm, all along the Eastern Shore, it's home. And Coastal Comfort is always here to keep you totally comfortable. Coastal Comfort, a Carrier Factory authorized dealer serving Maryland and Delaware. Carrier, turn to the experts. Signs of poor eyesight aren't always clear to us. At Wink Vision Center, we provide the best possible standard of care to discover the signs and improve your vision. Our eye exams are fast, easy, and comfortable to ensure you and your family can see clearly as soon as possible. Shop the finest selection of designer frames from Tiffany to Vera Wang, Maui Jim, and Urkers. Need an appointment? We can get you in as soon as the next day. The choice is clear. Wink Vision, Ocean City and Cambridge. Shell's Early Learning Center, child and parent approved. Shell's have become an extension of our family. They've helped prepare our children for school. I love Shell's. My teacher makes learning fun. Creating a fun learning environment to prepare the children for school. Shell's accredited staff is dedicated to preparing your child for school. Don't miss your chance to join the Shell's family. Enroll your child for fall now before it's too late. Shell's Early Learning Center, preparing our future generation. This summer, pack your bags and head to Ocean City, Maryland for free family fun all summer long. Watch beach movies, build sandcastles, and gaze at colorful kites, all completely free. Bust a move from the beach to the bay with beach dance parties, sunset park party nights, and Sundays in the park with fireworks, all completely free. Enjoy arts and crafts, discover Ocean City's history, and be in awe of acrobatic stunts at the circus, all completely free. So get going. Family memories are waiting to be made in Ocean City, Maryland. Plan your trip now at OCOcean.com. Vernon Powell now has Hoka Kids, just in time for back to school. Or choose New Balance, Skechers, Backpacks, Drinkware, and more with 20% off every second item during the back to school sale at Vernon Powell in Salisbury and Rehoboth Beach. Friday, and you know what that means. We've got another trending try for you, and um, hopefully this one goes well because this is one that has not had a trial run or a practice run of any kind, and it's one that I found in the middle of the night last yeah. night, so we're going to give it a go. We, we like to wing things, <laughs> right? We do like to wing things here, and I think one thing that Paige and I are often pretty proud of is like we just grab whatever we have. So we're like, you need to you modify that recipe. Yeah. We got you <laughs> with whatever you have lying around the office or at home. So I did have to make a little bit of a, of a grocery store trip mm -hmm. today, uh, but we're going to try making whipped coffee, which Ooh. if you remember back in like the beginning of the pandemic, this was sort of starting to take off on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So we're a little late to the party, but maybe you just haven't given it a try yet. Yeah. And uh, we were thinking this could be a little fun thing to try, especially now that we've seen some cooler mornings. Yes. This, could be, this could be fun. Okay. So it all seems pretty simple. All right. All things considered. Right. 
It's pretty much just scoop, stir, and go. Okay. Uh, I think the the biggest problem is I wish I'd had like an electric mixer. That's what I meant ah, to bring with me, okay. and I didn't. So guess we what? Got this guy. We got the whisk. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just going to be okay. two tablespoons, but we're just going to use we're, the spoons we have yeah. on hand because remember, so of sugar. Right in the bowl. Yep, right in the bowl. Brown sugar. Yep. Okay. One, two, two scoops of instant coffee, mm -hmm. which look, man, that's what the recipe says. Because I'm not really an instant <laughs> coffee girl. Trust me. But today, today we are. Today we're instant okay. coffee girls. Two scoops of that. They say two scoops of hot water. Okay. Which Ooh. I might add just a little bit more because. There we go. Here we go. We're going Ooh, off book. Happening. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Make a mess. <laughs> As is. If you don't make a mess, trending tries. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> All right. So we're going to use our. And then our, our, our colorful whisk yes. here. They say to just kind of yeah. stir until you get mm -hmm. like a whipped. Nice. Stiffed peaks kind Ooh. of situation, but this might take a little while, yeah. so bear with us. <laughs> Whisk her up. Fast forward to two minutes. Two to say, five yeah, minutes. I hope I didn't uh, <laughs> put too much water in going off book. <laughs> oh, well, something's happening. I was going to say, it's, we're getting there. It says it's a light brown, which it's, we're approaching. <laughs> Is that what? It, okay. Mm -hmm. It's getting there. It looks milky chocolate consistency. Yeah. She thick. She frothy. She, she's supposed to be frothy. I think if you have like one of those little frother guys, oh, I've seen those. this would really yes. be a, a, a much faster process and a much easier process on your wrists. Right. But uh, I think I think we're looking good. Okay, let's let's declare us in good shape. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. So you see that? How it uh, it is kind of like. Ooh. All right. <laughs> all right. So I think that's what you want because it's going to kind of sit on top mm. of the milk, oh, and it's going right, to okay. be you know kind of visual. So. Okay. Rearrange here yes. for just a minute. We got our clear glasses so we can see, yes. you know, make it pretty, okay. make it cute. So milk first. Very cute. Very demure. Yes. <laughs> so our milk first. <laughs> All right. Yum. We'll catch up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then we'll just scoop some of this on top. Sounds good. Ooh. Ooh okay, pretty. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I don't hate it. I don't <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's very nice. That's very nice. <laughs> I don't know how you make it really pretty, yeah, but <laughs> you always see the people do like the shapes and stuff on right, top of the Right, the perfectionists yeah. on TikTok. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. All right. And then I think you can give it a stir because it, stir. Okay. otherwise the coffee is all sitting on top. Right. So, you know, you get your photo oh. op. Yeah. And then I think you stir, stir it all it together. To consume. Yeah. Ooh, well, it kind of okay. looks looks like a, looks like I like my coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Especially if you're a milk heavy. Uh. Yeah. All right, cheers. All right, let's try this out. Mm. I um, get it. I get it. I think if you are like if you don't like as much of the coffee taste, mm -hmm. you are more of like if your lattes are. I was gonna say I, milk, I, I would like a little coffee. sweetness in this. Yeah, so I think you could go a little heavier with or the sugar. A syrupy of like a flavor, flavor. would be fun. <laughs> but a yeah, flavor shot. I think if you want a little more coffee too, I want a little heavy handed mm -hmm. on the coffee. And I think if it gets a little more time to stir together. It's not terrible. And maybe some ice. Some ice. Oh yeah. But yeah, it's like a little like a little cappuccino or iced yeah. latte. Okay. A fun little way it's to good. maybe if you want a slower morning, you can give it a shot and yeah. see. But uh I'd say it's a success. Yeah, I'd say it's yeah. a success. Came together pretty quick, pretty easy. You don't need an electric mixer. No. You can do it by hand. You also don't need the proper measurements because what we're You we don't need the proper yeah. measurements. <laughs> I think you just need the one-to-one -one ratios and you're good to go. <laughs> so uh, cheers, cheers on our trending tries. Cheers. Maybe if you give it a try, let us know if you see something that you're <laughs> curious about but you're too afraid to try yourself, send it our way and uh, we'll check it out. But for now, we got to take a quick break. The Coast Life will be right back. Mondays at 5 on Big 1077. It's time to huddle up and talk football. We're talking touchdowns, tackles, and everything in between. From game-changing plays to the latest news around the league. We'll take a deep dive into all of the plays that made a difference. We'll see you in the end zone. Catch the end zone. Mondays at 5 on Big 1077. Sponsored by Wawa. Celebrate Labor Day with huge savings at Preston Ford. Get $12,000 of savings off MSRP on select 2023 Ford F-150s. Save $9,000 off MSRP on a new 2023 Ford Bronco Badlands. These are just some of the deals. Explore a huge inventory online at PrestonFord.com.
With over a thousand new and pre-owned vehicles on the lot, we're sure to have the perfect vehicle for you. Labor Day weekend is the best time to upgrade your ride at Preston Ford. Cars cost less in Preston. Oh, you can do that for me? Stop hogging the new bathroom! I'm on the phone! Who are you on the phone with? Alex from Peninsula <laughs> Bath! What are you wearing, Alex from Peninsula Bath? Uh, khakis? And, with that second bathroom, we'll give you an additional 10% off. Mercy! That's a great deal, Alex from Peninsula Bath. Call now to lock in your 10% discount off your second bath remodel. Thank you, Peninsula Bath. Mom, what are you doing? I'm going hunting for hunting gear. Here's Shooter's Choice. Well, that makes sense, seeing as how all the big box stores are getting rid of all their hunting gear. And here at Shooter's Choice, our hunting department is fully stocked. Shotguns, rifles, ammo, trail cams, vests, hats, seed, scents, soap, shampoos, and so much more. Don't run around from store to store searching for your hunting gear. Come to Delaware's first choice in firearms, Shooter's Choice in Dover. Your, your hunting, hunting headquarters. headquarters. in the show. Uh, we caught a glimpse of Spencer Tober, our field correspondent, hanging out in some of the Jeeps down in Ocean City for Jeep Fest. Envious. It's Envious. A fun event. He, uh, I love said it. he traded one of the little ducks, you know, for yeah. a ride in the Jeep. So hopefully he's, um, you know, not kidnapped somewhere yeah. in Ocean City. <laughs> <laughs> but we are checking in with Spencer. Looks like you got a lot of Jeeps there with you, Spence. What's going on at Jeep Fest? Hitch, Leah, I am in an absolute sea of Jeeps right now, and I'm so excited to be out in Ocean City today. The weather is beautiful. The beach is nice and carved out for all of these absolutely hulking machines that can handle a good time. Let's talk to some Jeep owners and uh, people who are just real excited to be out here today. I love the orange, it was exciting and I mean, it matches my hair, it matches, <laughs> like, I was obsessed with it. Everyone is so nice. Like, every single person is the sweetest person you've ever met. Like, no matter if you need help, like, I need to help Aaron down the tires today for our first time. And everyone is just so nice, so friendly, and no one has an issue with helping anybody. It's a beautiful day here in Ocean City, Maryland, and a ton of Jeeps here. You're missing out, come on down. It's family friendly for all ages. You see the older folks, you see the young kids, and everybody just has a great day. I wanna get some ocean waves on the doors. It'll be a fun time, you know, the beach has always been great down here for me. I always love taking around the beach, mostly. Some have some fun with it off-road, and do some wall crawling, you know what I mean? I don't wanna beat her up too bad yet. I'm expecting a beautiful Ocean City morning and beautiful skies, lots of fun, lots of ducks. And all the kids coming out to the beach so we can throw the ducks to them. <laughs> we did the sand course yesterday and we will be at the convention center today, yeah. I heard that uh, the sand course is like a roller coaster. It's it's like a roller coaster, it's a lot of fun. It was really nice yesterday because there was very few Jeeps here. They hadn't all come in yet. So we were able to do it numerous times. It was a lot of fun. Nice. And I didn't get stuck, so that's important. <laughs> I had a regular Jeep before and I got the truck, so that's the biggest thing for me. We picked this up just a few weeks ago. She's a 2015 Jeep Rubicon and uh, we've kind of missed the whole Jeep community, so we wanted to come back to it. And you can pretty much see any kind of rendition of Jeep here, too, which is insane. It gives us lots of ideas on what we want to do. What's your name going to be? That's a good question. We haven't quite figured that out yet. We don't know if we're going to call her Coasty or what. It's Sarge Green is the color of it, but being that we're Coast Guard and not Army, we kind of want to change that up a little bit. <laughs> I almost went Orioles, but I figured Clementine was cuter. personalize it any way you want. That's so cool. You can even get wraps, different colors. Everybody just gets along. Everybody likes to look at everybody's Jeep. Everybody's friendly. It's just, it's a good time. There's no animosity between us. We're all just here to have fun. Uh, like I broke down on the way down last night. I had a friend that was down. He was, he was willing to drive two hours back up to meet me if I needed a hand. It's just the community in general. Everybody's friendly, willing to lend a hand, and you know, generally wave at one another. 
Where are you heading? Just wondering if I could just uh, get a few shots from the car. All right, thank you guys. Uh, woo! Hey, so I actually traded a duck for a, a beach crawl ride, so I think I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the day down here, hit the convention center, and, uh, and see what the vendors have going on. There's some live music that you're not gonna wanna miss here too. So, Leah, Lauren, it's gonna be back to you. I'll uh, maybe even have these guys drop me off at the station later. Look, Spencer, I know riding in the Jeep is fun and all, but don't forget you took the Coast Life car to Ocean City today, so you gotta bring that back. I don't know that you can get a ride all the way back to the station. <laughs> But uh, have some fun. I'm, I'm jealous. I'm very jealous. I know. That event is always fun. We used to cover it a lot you know, know. with the digital team. And that's always really neat, really cool people. Just a great way to spend your Friday afternoon yeah. in this gorgeous <laughs> weather. I mean, come on. If you can make it down to Ocean City sometime this weekend, please do. Right. But uh, we do have to take a quick break, uh, grab a snack or something. But we'll be right back with just a little more Coast Life on the way. If you're experiencing ringing, humming, or buzzing in your ear, you may have tinnitus. Tinnitus is a condition that can make it hard to understand speech, relax, or sleep. If you have any of these symptoms, the first step is getting your hearing tested. The audiologist will be able to diagnose your problem and prescribe you devices that can alleviate your symptoms. Hearing aids like Cygnus even offer tinnitus programs that can offset tinnitus noises. To learn more information about mast audiology, visit delmarvaexperts.com. At Atlantic General Hospital, we've been busy. Busy expanding healthcare services that are second to none in our region. From cancer care, and women's health services, to orthopedics, gastroenterology, and more, we provide advanced health technologies delivered by top providers. Expert care every day. It's what you can count on from Atlantic General Hospital. So I'm going to college. I am looking into pediatric therapy. Uh, majoring in cybersecurity. Every patient is unique. So every patient gets a unique treatment plan. I'm not a cookie cutter person. Tillman Orthodontics has every option, including braces and Smiles Correct. Tillman Orthodontics made a plan just for me. We might start you with braces and finish with custom clear aligners. Now the real meat can shine through. Ready for whatever the future may hold. Bring it. Call Tillman Orthodontics for your free consultation. Welcome to Beach Barrels. No matter where you're from, everyone is a local. Fun times and good vibes await with a wide variety of craft brews, plus our award-winning Primo Hoagies made fresh daily. Dance the night away at the best live music venue in Ocean City. And there's never a bad seat to catch your favorite sports team. Dine in or relax on our outside deck with comfortable seating and beautiful palm trees for a cozy, tropical atmosphere. Beach Barrels open 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. at 132nd and Coastal Highway. Get your kids back to school ready at Your Docs Inn. From sports physicals to allergy management and so much more. Plus, back to school means back to germs. So we're here for you seven days a week with six convenient locations and late hours too. Book online for no more waiting room limbo. Fast care at reasonable prices. Your Docs Inn in partnership with Title Health. Accepting most insurance plans and Medicare. Named best urgent care on the shore. Feel better, faster at Your Docs Inn. Honor the brave men and women who served Delmarva with a Coast TV salute. Sponsored by Spicer Brothers. Nominate a local veteran, a service member, or first responder at CoastTVSalutes.com. Well, if you remember earlier this week during our great debate, we were talking about whether or not it's too soon for pumpkin coffee. And uh, almost everybody on the poll said yes. 69% of people said, nah, it's still summer. Like, get your coffee out of here. Right. Did I still go get one yesterday? Yes. I was going to say, <laughs> but the coffee gods have spoken, and they have determined that it is not too early for pumpkin yeah. spice because it's already made its return right? at Starbucks. It was iced, so maybe still summer, but... I drink iced coffee year-round. I won't lie. I'm an way. iced coffee girl. <laughs> uh, you'll hear the ice stirring and the glasses, yes. the sunglasses, the attitude. If I can't hear the sound, <laughs> I don't want it, you know? <laughs> yes. I feel like, yeah, when I buy coffee, it's always iced because I make hot coffee at home. At home. So I'm yeah, like, oh, I'm iced coffee way. is a treat. Yes, I'm the mm -hmm. same way. 
Yep, see, there you go. And uh, <laughs> enjoy your pumpkin in peace because, again, everybody, the, the coffee gods have already decided that it is officially yeah. pumpkin season. Yes. And, I mean, you really only had one more week to wait till Labor Day, which I would say, I declare Labor it's Day weekend season. officially fall. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. If you were worried about getting your pumpkin spice and you were hiding it, you don't have to. You know. Hold your head high. Hold your PSL <laughs> high, okay? <laughs> but uh, it's about that time for us to get on out of here. Good luck to everybody going back to school on Monday. We talked bus safety earlier, so just remember Monday morning, give yourself some extra time. Yes. Keep yourself some extra patience on your way home. <laughs> and uh, we want everybody to have a fun and safe first day. Yes. And, uh, Lauren, thanks for hanging out with us all week. Thank you. We'll be back next Friday. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It'll be a week. Uh, but for now, we got to let you go. Go enjoy your weekend. Have a great rest of your day. Coast TV News at 5 takes it from here. We'll see you on Monday.